driving through the mountains, it was really dark, really windy road, and one of my friends, who's a total romantic, um, poses the question, if you had to marry anyone tomorrow, who would it be? And the three of us are mortified. We're like, oh my gosh, no. Lauren takes about three seconds and is like, obviously Ryan Brinkman. And my jaw drops to the ground. I'm like, oh my gosh, Do Ryan from Canada? to wake up every single morning and roll out of bed and look at your spouse who's probably still sleeping and you're getting up at six o'clock to take care of the kids and and realize that it, your thought is oh my gosh how could someone so amazing pick me and that's what we would pray that every single day of your marriage is like to ryan and lauren may the lord bless your marriage and future together may it be marked by forgiveness love and service to the lord one another and all those that come across your paths. May the future family you have, however the Lord designs it, be a place of discipleship, laughter, and incredible joy-filled memories. May the love, service, and intentionality you each have had on everyone here continue to grow and be reciprocated back to you and your family in the days, weeks, and years to come. And ultimately, may the Lord's steadfastness or steadfast love and faithfulness be made known in and through your marriage from this day forward for his glory, others benefit, and our greatest joy. To Ryan and Lauren. Level Brinkman, my best friend and my future husband. You are first and most importantly God's son, his beloved child, chosen, saved, forgiven, and redeemed. He promises to never leave us or forsake us. He desires to know his children intimately, and he loves you despite your flaws, sinfulness, brokenness, and quirks. I promise to never leave you and be by your side till the day I die. I love you, I choose you, and I receive you. Thanks for already being my perfect helpmate. As we move forward in marriage, today and forever, I commit to loving God first and choosing to love you more each day. I choose to give grace and forgiveness as God forgave me. I commit to sharing truth in love 
and pursuing intimacy with God by studying His Word daily. When conflict and hardships arise, I commit to love you by going vertical first and asking God to do a miracle in my heart before I act. I commit to forsake all others, including my work and my family, to sacrificially love and lead you. I know that I won't do it perfectly, and you've seen that already. And honey, I know that you won't do it perfectly either, and I don't expect you to, and neither does Jesus. I'm not going anywhere, and neither is our Savior. My prayer is that through our marriage, people see more of God's grace, forgiveness, and redemption, that we're honest with each other and others along the way. Ryan Brinkman, I love you, and I choose you, and I'm for you forever. Love me. Ryan, would you please put your uh, bride's ring on her finger? Absolutely. <laughs> you got it. And vice versa. Here you go. <laughs> oh, this one's right. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> Back on track. Love it. I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. Face out. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor and joy I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Brim.
begin Here we go 